I started in go-karts when I was five years old. My family has been into racing for a number of generations. My grandfather and my father are both drivers. My grandfather bought me a little blue go-kart when I was five years old. I raced go-karts for a little bit of time, uh, and then I moved into World Challenge when I was 15 years old. I turned it into a career over now 22 years of racing. Udell pops to the outside. It's Udell. Udell has a nice line, feeds it throttle. He is up on his outside shoulder at the line. A wow. couple of feet kill. It's just something that I completely enjoy. Joe is a creator and athlete with no racing experience, and Alec is a professional racing driver and coach. In one year, Alec is going to guide Joe on a journey from no experience to his professional racing license, taking Joe on a journey from rookie to pro. Alec got some gear for me, and we're going to do a little unboxing. That's going to be gloves. It's a rib vest. <laughs> <laughs> the reason you get one of these is so you don't leave the track with bruised ribs, which I did not know was a thing. Pulling all those bees, you get bruises. So this keeps that from happening. Gloves? Gloves. Well, I guess we're really doing this thing. We're really learning how to drive a race car. This is the part of the process. Genuine ostrich. Three payments. Oh! We're back out at HKC again today. We're going to take Joe back out on track, and I'm going to do a proper coaching session with him today like I would with someone in a go-kart. The first thing we're going to do is jump out on the track for a track walk. All right, Joe, so what's the goal for today? Uh, don't suck. What do you think you're going to get out of driving the cart today? I want to get more comfort in the cart. So the goal of the track walk today is to get Joe more tuned into the lines on the racetrack. When we went out the first time, he was getting more comfortable with the speed, but the placement of the cart wasn't where it needed to be. So we're going to get him more tuned in on the placement today. So this part of the track, basically once we come out of the, the last turn there, like we're flat all the way up until we break for this, this corner. Flat out. Flat out. Yeah, flat being full throttle. Are you currently walking like where you would where be I would place the cart in the yeah, cart exactly when, when we're talking about the basic fundamental of a racing line does outside inside outside right so when you get here you know naturally we're looking at a payoff zone being this next like straightaway so if you just go straight you got to slow down a lot more and the turns a lot tighter Which versus is what I was doing exactly yeah versus if you open up and follow the track out to the outside you open up the entry and you make a less sharp turn you think you're going to need that <laughs> just in case just in case <laughs> we've got three types of apexes and turns we've got an early a normal and a late apex so it's like basically the earliest point on the corner that you're pointed through down the track. To ride it out. Exactly, yeah. We can get too in depth, and, and the goal really, again, is not for you to like have to understand the theory behind everything. I just want you to know like where you place the cart. You've got to push the limit a little bit yeah. in some areas, uh, because yeah, it allows yeah, you yeah. to get the feeling, yeah. yeah. This is all just a huge combination of the smallest maneuvers, <laughs> just over and over and over again, and hoping that you don't screw up one of them. Bad to drop a wheel here. Dead, dead air pod case. Don't bring important stuff on the racetrack yeah. either. Sucker. It's a late apex here, hold it in the center of the track, and then a late apex over there. Keep the speed up with how much power you're putting. Too much throttle, you're gonna get understeer and the car's, the car's not gonna wanna turn. You do not enough, it's gonna bog down. Right where this curb turns is right around where you wanna be. If you're too early, you go straight to the beginning of that curb and that's, hit that, yeah. All right, so what we're gonna do now is put Joe back in the go-kart. We're gonna make sure everything's all good, give him probably 10, 15 laps to run around, and then we'll go into more coaching. So it's Joe's first laps out now. Basically, 
He hasn't done anything really besides get on the sim uh, one time since the last time we were out at the track and he's spun it already. <laughs> so it's colder today than it was the last time we were out here, which is going to make it take a little bit longer for the tire to come up and he's just getting things warmed up. So all good. Let's go check out some stuff with him on track. Yeah, it's cold. Yeah, much colder. Yes. Holy shit. Yes. You gotta build heat in the tire. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. He said it feels way more slippery, and I said, yeah, that's the temperature. So like what I was saying just a second ago, it's colder today, so he's gonna have to build heat in the tire to actually get the same grip that he had the last time we were out here. So I started coaching drivers when I was about 13, 14 years old. It started with just having drivers follow me on the track, and then it turned into the data analysis that we do at the high levels with the motorsport teams that I work with now. So right now, what I would say is he's trying too hard to like do things with the cart. He really just needs to like work on the feeling of it and then it'll come. So he's like really turning aggressively and like trying to slide the cart. We want it to be more of a natural thing. So he's getting through here a bit better, but still kind of sliding the cart. So what we're gonna get him is that feel of, okay, he understands how to get the cart to start to rotate on the way in, and then trust that slide with his power down foot. Ooh-wee. Ooh -wee. It's going better. Whenever I lost traction on those first couple laps, it yeah. was really helpful. Temperature has to do a lot with how malleable the tire is, how grippy the tire is. My finger sinks into the tire there and actually makes an indention, right? But before it wouldn't do that because it was so cold. So when temperature is cold, you have to build up the temperature and the pressure in the tire a bit more. It takes a little bit longer. But you're starting to get that rotation. The thing that I want you to keep working on is you're being too aggressive with the hands. So we use the brake in the straight line to like slow the cart down. We use the brake as you start to turn in to like rotate the cart. And then you use the power to keep the speed up and have that transition between gaining the grip back and uh, like getting power down out of the corner basically. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You want your hands to be like as smooth as they can be uh, when you're steering into the corner. I'm tired already. I was out of breath whenever you walked over here. Wild. I'd say go do another, you know, 10 laps here and then we'll uh, we'll get you out and, and debrief a little bit. Cool. What can you do? do I need to do after a stop like that to make sure that I like they're still hot enough? Uh, like, it'll take like probably a lap or two. Okay, so I should definitely not go straight from that into a... Correct. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I mean, that's part of like the learning process is understanding how quickly it takes for you to get and to like what that feel is. Up. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. That was probably his best line through there that I've seen so far. 
hands are much smoother now, so he's not upsetting the cart on the way into the corner just by the way he's steering. So now it's more the braking rotation that's happening rather than him trying to brake and rotate the cart at the same time. That was it. That was it. Yeah, that was better. So you see, he apexed just then, here, and put him almost to the barrier, right, uh, kind of right over here, right? So that's not what we're looking for. We want him to go later, so he can be tighter on the exit. That was it, that was good, that was really good which allowed him to be to the left side of the track, which set him up great for the next corner. One left. if he could do two more laps, he said, I just figured something out. I said, okay, sure, go for it. What'd you figure out? While I still had the hot tires, yep. I wanted to feel what it was like to ease into the brake while turning to, to lose that slip versus throwing it. Yep. Here we're running mostly rental carts, which have like a very hard compound tire. So it's extra slick, basically. The important thing is you can drive in like the low grip conditions. It's, you can drive in higher grip because it becomes a bit easier when you increase the grip. What's nice to see is that you would get the cart to slide a little bit and then pick up the throttle and carry the speed through the corner. Right. The thing that I would like to see a little bit more of still is focus on like placement of the cart with the line. So what we're gonna focus on this session with Joe then is getting really pinpoint accuracy on the line as much as he can, as well as using the brake to rotate the cart rather than trying to whip it in with his hands. Yeah. Let's so do it. More controlled. More controlled, exactly. More controlled and with that, that'll help bring the time because I don't think you ever got like one lap piece together. The line will help you focus on getting the cart in the right spot and the lap time will come from being smooth and controlled with it. It was more consistent. It looked like you're pushing the limits of the track a little bit more. And so like when I was talking about the last time, I wanted you to push the limits more. It's not necessarily that I wanted you to like go off or spin. I wanted you to use all the track yeah. that's there. Like when we're talking about slide, it's more like I'm talking about rotation, mm -hmm. right? And so like that's the difference between like a slide and, and I guess rotation into the corner. So the goal is to like get the cart, cart rotated on the way into the corner so that on the exit, you're not like really sliding a ton. It's just like a nice controlled, not, not drift, but like a nice controlled right on the limit. That's good. I think the thing that I was listening to, 
for the next time, there shouldn't be any coasting time in between when you're going from gas to, to the brake. So that would be something that we want to clean Some up extra that, time. that next time. with a career like Alec is extremely impressive because most people take the path easier traveled. That's also a big part of what made Alec a friend was that Alec was doing something special. Feeling, feeling nice. Doesn't like a look of concentration. Holy shit. What'd you get? I don't know. 53.6. Yeah. Just a little bit, a little bit faster. So looking now here at the lap times, RPM and speed that Joe was running. So lap time wise, he's doing a lot better with 53.6, so that's a second quicker. Track's about a second and a half slower, so that's let's say two second pace increase from the last time, so he's quicker. The low RPM is where I'd like to see the improvement. That's much better. So he was like 2,000 low RPM last time, so now we're in the like 5,000, 6,000 range. And the higher RPM is like 13.5, so much better. What was it like today? Smooth. Smooth. I like that. So what I like this time is you were driving the cart more. Yeah. You know, before we had talked a little bit about how you go out and ride go-karts, and a lot of people ride go-karts, but you were actually nice, like driving it into the corner, getting the rotation, and then getting out of the turn. So it was much better. Lap time wise, uh, you went a little bit quicker this time, about a second quicker than you went the last time. I think the track's about a second and a half slower, so we'll say it's conservatively two seconds improvement in lap time, so I think that's great. Uh, we have more to go, obviously, but we keep making chunks each time out. Incremental. Yeah. 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 So I think from what we worked on today, it was a lot on braking, on steering, on the entry, getting the hands smooth on the turn in, as well as understanding rotation of the cart on the way into the corner. So those are three important things with carting, and especially in low grip conditions, to be able to get through a corner smoothly and accelerate out onto the track quickly. So overall, we made about a two second improvement from the last time out. It's a great place to be at, and we'll pick it up again next time at track. Yeah. I knew I wanted to make a career out of it. I knew I wanted to uh, do, do it professionally one day. I have a 15-year-old kid, the youngest professional race car driver in North America, and he qualifies P3 in qualifying. Coming up on Rookie to Pro. This is a part of the journey. Does this cart have a name? No. Can't ride on a horse with no name. You can name it then. I can name it? Sure. I think a, I think an adequate name for this is 